hear there's been a wolf seen around here. Probably just a coyote, George. Game Warden says it's a wolf. Said he's seen the tracks himself. New Game Warden's a little green behind the ears, if you ask me. He came by my place the other night, asked me if I'd seen a wolf. Tell him it was probably just a coyote? 20 on pump one. Is that all for you? Yes, sir. You need a receipt? No. All right, man, have a good day. I told the game warden I hadn't seen any wolf. If I did, he wouldn't know about it. And he wouldn't have to worry about it either. Nobody's going to worry about it anyway. On second thought, is there a place around here to stay? To stay? You mean like a motel? Yeah, someplace fairly inexpensive, quiet. Well, every place around here is pretty quiet, but the Empire's down the way. They're the cheapest in town, but you're going to get what you pay for. The new outfit up there off the interstate's got a pool. The Empire, you say it's down that way? Yeah, you go out there, take a right, go straight about a half a mile, then you'll start seeing the signs. Thank you. I still think it's just a big coyote. Probably. Looks like you overcorrected this time. Now you're high. All right, don't get your panties in a bunch. <coughs> oh, shit. You boys having fun? Oh, just. Sighting in the new rifle, Sheriff. I can see that. And that stop sign down at the corner, it wouldn't be newly perforated as a result now, would it? Deputy? Well, uh, we just figured if it was already shot to shit, then maybe the kids in town wouldn't think they needed to do it. That makes about as much sense as anything that comes about as a result from your thought process. Hey, why don't you take that rifle of yours down and show this sorry excuse for a deputy how it's really done. Not today. Deputy Francis, why don't you take the car back to town? Deputy Carr, you're with me. Is everything all right, Sheriff? Game Warden is out at Chuck Barrett's place. Called in about an hour ago. Asked if we could keep it off the scanners for the time being. Doesn't want the whole town to know. So what exactly is it that uh, he doesn't want the whole town to know? Sounds like we got a body. See you back at the shop. I'd better be right with you. Can you take care of it? I'm in the middle of something. Get your ass out of here. Thank you. Where's the funds with you when you come? Number three is backed up. Here. She'll be with you momentarily. I'm sorry. I, uh. Sorry. Uh, I was just. Doing your makeup. What can I help you with? I need a room. 
Well, we have plenty of those. Um, what brings you to the Empire? It came. Highly recommended. Really? Because the hotel off the interstate has a pool, you know. You know I'm not much for swimming. Um, we have a single. Actually, all we have are singles. Is that okay? I'm only one person. And your name? Ergo Reigns. E-R-G-O. That's an unusual name. About as unusual as Ida. How did you know? I heard your boss. Right. It's my grandmother's name. My last name's Flowers. That one's my daddy's. Well, I bet it suits you better than it ever did him. So, how long will you be staying with us, Mr. Rains? Five nights. It's just enough time to get comfortable. I hope not. Thanks, Warden. So anyway, like I was saying, we finally went out the other night, and we ended up at the diner. You've been there? They got new menus now. Anyway, so they got these new menus. So I asked Sophie, I said, how come you got new menus? She said, well, the prices went up, so we had to get new menus. So then I thought, well, how come the prices went up? And you know what she said when I asked her? Heart saying. She said the prices went up because they had to pay for the new menus. Now, I'm not a smart man, but... I didn't know there were accusations. <laughs> you know it. It doesn't make any sense at all, does it? Good afternoon, Chuck. Sheriff. Ah, oh, God. That knock got buzzered off a shit wagon. Looking pretty stopped up here, Chuck. I don't have any idea what he was doing out in my field. But if he didn't hear that combine coming down that row, he was probably in pretty bad shape to start with. He's dead. Sure about that, Deputy? <laughs> oh, I'm pretty sure about that. Can't get much better than pretty sure. Got any idea who he might be? <clears throat> well, that won't be too tough. That's that old boy we dropped off outside of town yesterday, Terrence Valor. He drifted into town a couple days ago and got drunk as a skunk and picked a fight with the Richter kid. So we kept him in the drunk tank till he was sobered up and, and we tried to help him on his way. Thanks to Chuck here, it doesn't look like you made it too far. Am I gonna be in any trouble over this? I don't think you have anything to worry about. We'll just need a statement. And my machine, we got corn to cut. Not all of us striking all around here, you know. I'll get Dale down here and see what he can do for you. Oh, and don't worry, Chuck. Next time, we'll make sure to deposit the riffraff on the other side of town. Apologize for the inconvenience. Oh, like it's my fault Chuck's combining up all the tourists. This is Sheriff Gaines, calling in a 419, eight miles north of town.
Oh, thank you. You're welcome, dear. Looks like you got a classic. Come again? Your camera. Haven't seen one of those in a long time. Yeah, it's from a different time. A lot of things like that around here are. So you'll fit right in. You hear the news this morning? No, I'd rather read in the paper than hear it from you. Thank you. The wife seen Helen Barrett at church last night. Oh, shit. The last time Helen Barrett was in church was down to the basement of an AA meeting. He's just trying to get a rise out of you, Don. She said Chuck hit something with the combine out north of town. Hit something? A body. There's not a whole lot left of your boy to examine. And the cause of death? Is that even a question? Well, it's not an answer. There's a very good chance that he drank himself to death before the header even got to him. Have you sent away for the toxicology report? No, no one ordered one yet. There's no doubt he was drunk. Alcohol outweighs the stench of death on him. Is there something you're not telling me? Like how to do your job? Look, if you want me to dig deeper, I'll do what I can. A toxicology report's gonna take at least four to six weeks. Right. What are you thinking? I don't know yet. I ran him through the system and he had a hefty list of priors. Up near Detroit, charged but never convicted. From what I can gather, he was let go on technicalities over a handful of times. Oh, I'll bet he'd take being locked up over this. Any personal items recovered from the body? Not much. Just half a cell phone, that's the worst for wear. All right. Send off for that report and keep me posted. Well, I thought that went well. Did you get Terrence Valor blackout drunk on your way out of town, Mike? No, I did not. And after an alcohol-related incident, we didn't send him out into the world with liquor on his person, did we? No, we certainly did not. So, short of coming five miles into town to get booze, which isn't even sold on Sundays in this town, and then back out eight miles to Barrett's place, this story of him getting pissed drunk in a field by himself doesn't add up. No, I guess it doesn't. What other options do we have? Good question. Guess I'll start in with Dan Richter first thing tomorrow morning. You see what you can find out about that cell phone? Okie doke. Pull over there. Oh, that's an interesting looking fella. Good afternoon. Afternoon, officer. What you got going on there? I'm just taking some photographs. I can see that. You're not from around here, are you? Stopped over for a few days as I passed through. Huh. Goodland's an odd choice for a stopover. What kind of work are you into, if you don't mind me asking? I'm uh, shooting for a book. Is that a uh, picture book or a book book? It's a book of photographs. Small town people and places mainly, you know, real Americana. Guess she came to the right place. My ex-husband used to always use those old disposable cameras. I've still got a shoebox full of them somewhere undeveloped. Hard to find a place that'll even do that kind of thing anymore. Probably wouldn't want to see what's on them even if I did. Mind if I take a look at some of your pictures? You know, just out of curiosity. Oh, well, like your husband, I shoot on film. Uh, black and white, mainly. 
ex-husband. I didn't even know they made those anymore. That's a dying art. Got this one from a secondhand store a long time ago. Sheriff Gaines, by the way. Georgette Gaines. Ergo Reigns. Ergo, is it? Can't say I've ever heard of that one before. Most people haven't. You staying out by the interstate? Uh, no, the uh, Empire Motel. Can't stand the smell of chlorine. Well, Ergo Reigns, I'll be looking forward to seeing you around town the next couple of days. You take care now. idea keeping the chain on there's a lot of bad people in this town I might be one of them something I can help you with I was just wondering how you're enjoying your stay you knock on all your patrons doors and ask them about their stay I do all two of you sometimes it's hard to get around to everyone so I'm sorry for calling so late everything seems to be in order thanks for stopping by what you got going on in there Nothing, just some photo equipment. I've seen you around with your camera. You're not filming a dirty movie in here, are you? No, nothing like that. Huh. That's too bad, I was hoping for a little excitement. It's for developing photos, it basically shuts out all the light. You going to a party? No. I'm just meeting some people. So it turns the bathroom into a dark room? Essentially. Now, if you'll excuse me. I've never seen one like that before. Been around a lot of photo equipment, have you? I took a class once. College elective? Yeah, something like that. If you don't mind, I really do have to get back to work. Well, it seems like you could use a little help. No thanks, I'll be fine. Don't be silly. I'll help you and then I'll be out of your hair in no time. Come on, don't be so stubborn. I'll tell you all of Goodland's dirty little secrets while we work. Keeping the night watch? Well, somebody's got to. If you're in here with me, you're not out there doing it. Deputy Francis is on duty tonight. That boy couldn't pour piss out of a boot if there were instructions printed on the heel. He means well. Hell, I mean well. Doesn't change the fact that I might shit in bed from time to time. <laughs> Here, got you something. When are you gonna cut this shit out? You always said you wanted to read the classics. Yeah, well, that was back when I thought there might actually be some meaning to all this. I know why you're here. I just handed it to you. The real reason. I heard the call the other day. Just a drifter who wandered into town and showed up dead in a field. But you don't believe that or you wouldn't be in here bothering me. You act as if I don't come to see you three times a week as is. So you keeping this all under wraps? Nothing to keep under wraps. Everybody knows what I know. So far it's just a feeling. No point in getting everybody riled up over a feeling. Maybe yes, maybe no. I'm just trying to do the right thing. 
the right thing. You can spend your whole life trying to do the right thing, trying to stay in the light. But eventually, the sun sets. Then it's all you can do just to ride out the night. I've heard how flat it was out here, but I had no idea. A man could watch his dog run away from home for three days. Is that yours? What? Is that a little anecdote you come up with that yourself? <laughs> oh, no, I guess not. It's just something I heard my dad say once. And we don't have to talk. Oh, no, I don't mind. It's just that he left No, me. really. Let's not talk about it. How much longer do you think this place will stay open? What, the motel? Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, my manager, Benny, he lives here, so <laughs> I don't know. A new hotel can't be too good for business. There was a time when all these rooms were full. Back before I worked here, when they found oil outside the town. All the drillers were coming in. And then harvest time came and the custom cutters got here and there just wasn't enough room for everybody. So it kind of had to happen. Now everyone just stays out there. I don't blame them. <laughs> I would too. All right, better... Wait. This is my favorite song. <laughs> You have to dance with me. No, I... Oh, come on. Really, I'm... <laughs> I'm no good. Fine. Then I'll dance. I remember when you said hello. I knew right away I wouldn't take it slow. Leroy, 916th. Leroy! Yeah. God damn it. I said 916th, not 5 8 Been 20 years or more since I worked in my dad's garage. Must be a little rusty. A nice story. What are you doing here? Maybe I'm here to get my truck fixed. But you're not. You're right. I'm not. Been hunting lately, Dan? I don't hunt. <sighs> really? Hmm. Not even wayward drifters who may or may not have had a problem with the way your face is arranged. Come on. That's not mine. 
that's good news. Seeing as how possession of a firearm would be a violation of your parole. Seriously, what do you want from me? Man, are you gonna arrest me on that shit? Because you need to warn us to be here, right? I want to know if you had anything to do with that man's death. Well, I heard it was your man head-to-head -head with a combine. Now, I ain't been driving no combines, if that's what you're asking. I'm just exploring all the possibilities. He got what he deserved, if you ask me. But I didn't touch him. Look, we had words at the bar, yes. But then he was the one that hauled off and sucker punched me right in the fucking face. I went down, and that was it. And he's lucky that your boy Francis was there, because that whole bar would have kicked his ass if I just said so. And that's all that happened. You wouldn't have happened to follow up with him once he was let out. I'm fucking positive. Left early next morning for a salvage run. You can ask Leroy, wherever the hell he is. Did he talk to anyone else while he was there? How should I know that? Look, when I got there, he was down at the end of the bar, just drinking by himself. He wasn't talking to nobody. It was just him and that big fucking camping bag of his. All right. Well, thank you for your superb cooperation, Mr. Richter. I'll be taking this with me. I would hate for a law enforcement officer to saunter in and happen to see it just lying around. It not being yours and all. You can see how that would be confusing. Oh, and it's in your best interest to stick around for a couple of weeks. Wouldn't look too good if you were to skip town right now, you know? Whatever. Mike, Valor had a bag when you dropped him off, right? But it wasn't recovered in the field. We need to find that bag. No camera today. Oh, no, not today. Just have to run a few errands. Delivery, 1926 Main Street. Half a dozen roses, no vase. Rains, ergo.
shit. Don't move. I said don't move, asshole. Put your hands up. This girl, this girl in these photos is 16. Now, I don't know who you are, but I'm about ready to... What do you think you're doing? I was, I was just trying to scare you away from her. Whatever you've been told, whatever you think you've seen in these photographs, I'm not interested in your little girlfriend, okay? Don't come around here again, kid. You're only gonna get yourself hurt. You're 16? You don't think that'd be nice to know? I thought you knew. I thought you could tell. You thought I could tell? No, never mind. It doesn't matter anyway because nothing happened between us. But how do you explain these? You know what? Save it. All right? Your boyfriend just pulled a gun on me in the parking lot. I... Don't. I... Stay away from me. I don't want to see you anywhere near my room or my things again. All right? I mean it, Ida. Sure, he didn't have this bottle? I'm positive. Look, we've been over this before. Maybe. Maybe he had it stashed someplace out there. I suppose it's possible. Well, everything else is here. We are not missing anything. Well, I don't think anyone except the coyote was chomping at the bit to get Terrence Valor's claim to this world. Nice car. Someone helped to get him drunk, though. All right, so let's say somebody did get him drunk. Who? I've never been one for conspiracy theories, Mike. Well, today might be a good day to get one started. All I can think of is that he knew someone around here. Someone he trusted.
Don't move another step. That's a hell of a greedy. Why don't you put that gun down? Quit fucking around. Grab everything you got for the job. We're going to meet Guy. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing? You're not doing a very good job of keeping a low profile. I can take care of myself. Just like your buddy, Valor. Why did it take you two days to contact me after one of our men turns up dead in a field? What did you want me to do about it? We adapt. We're moving forward. Moving forward? What, what if someone's on to us? For all we know, our cover is blown. Nobody's gonna make a connection between a photographer and custom cutters. Look, it doesn't matter, all right? The whole job needs to be put on hold. Does El Charo know? Look, you're new. Maybe you're not clear on how things work on these operations. El Charo contacts me, not you, and never the other way around. So he doesn't know that we're one man down? We're doing this without Valor. It's as simple as that. Valor brought me in. All right, I don't even know if I can trust you. This was a four-person job for a reason. And I'm also in charge for a reason. And if you have a problem with that, or the way I run things, this is your one and only chance to walk away. Yeah, that's what I thought. You continue to do your job, and let me worry about the rest. You got it? Got it? Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Here, there's three numbers on that phone. I'm listed as number one, Kilmer's two, Valor was three. You keep doing your thing and wait for a call. Careful, it's hot. Later. You know, somewhere along the line, I got it in my head that real men drink their whiskey straight and their coffee black. Don't know where I came to that conclusion. Well, I guess that makes you more of a man than me, then. But now, what does that mean when you were pouring whiskey in your coffee every morning, then? <laughs> I'm just honest enough to admit that without sugar, this shit tastes like burnt asshole. Mm. So, what do you got for me? Not a thing that would make anyone think this is something more than it appears to be. Nothing makes a whole lot of sense at the moment. If life made any sense, I'd be dead, and you'd have to find somebody else to harass. You're the one who's asking all the questions. Huh. Might as well be talking to a fence post for all the answers you got for me. But you won't let me alone, and I can't stand talking about the weather with you anymore. So let's talk about this. Got the feds involved yet? No. I don't know what I'd tell them at this point. Nah, it's just as well. They don't come riding in here with uh, their dicks out looking for a measuring contest. Got any leads? Talk to the Richter kid. He and Valor got in a scuffle down at the bar before he turned up dead. Henry Richter's boy? Mm-hmm. Valor's got more guts than a slaughterhouse picking a fight with a local kid in that bar. 
It doesn't matter. Richter's alibi checks out. Oh, hell, let me guess. Church. <laughs> <coughs> He was out of town on a salvage. Any hard evidence? Working on the cell phone. Mm -hmm. It was all but destroyed in the accident. He had a pack on him, coyote, strung out all the contents, but we were able to recover everything, including a bottle of whiskey that he had somehow acquired from the time we dropped him off to the time he turned up dead. Well, this will come as no surprise to you, but uh, whiskey is not all that difficult to get in these parts. Mm -hmm. Anyone new on the scene? Harvest crews are in town, mm -hmm. and then there's the oil boys, of course, and... And? How, why would someone stay at the old Empire Motel these days? <laughs> Empire? I, I didn't even know that place is still in business. Well, you'd have to have an affinity for peeled wallpaper and the smell of piss, I guess. Or you want privacy. told me that four of these phones were purchased on the same day, all prepaid and in cash. And there's no way of tracing them. They're burners. Yeah. If there's anything to learn, it'll be on Valor's SIM card. Did I tell you our photographer friend is from Michigan? Can't say that you did, but uh, so why is that important now? Valor's priors were all acquired in Detroit. So you think they're linked? And then there's this. I told you that's a really nice car. Yeah, we got that, Francis. It's not what's in the photo. It's the photo itself. Black and white, film stock, real Americana. There are three numbers saved on here but there are no names. They're saved as one, two, and three. So let's call them. And say what if they answer? Good evening. You or someone you know wouldn't happen to be involved in the death of Terrence Valor, would you? Look, I don't know what to say, but if you have a better idea, we need to hear it, and we need to hear it now. If one of these numbers is Rain's, we need to see the phone, see it ring. We need to be there for it. Gonna be on top of the ball for it. Drop the attitude. I can have a job to pitch it. I don't. Don't. Feel sorry for me. I don't need your pity. I, d I know that you... Don't! Okay? You've made it very clear how you feel about me. Ida, you're just a kid. <laughs> don't patronize me. You don't know what I've been through, and besides, age is just a... What? 
A number? No. Age is a deliberate accumulation of experience. Great. Well, then I've been deliberately fucking up my life for a while now. Look. <clears throat> who you are now, and who you become, they don't have to be the same. You don't know anything about me. You're right. I don't. And you don't know anything about me, either. But you still threw yourself at me like I was, what, like I was gonna save you from this place? Is that what you thought? I really liked you. You realize how immature that sounds? I felt it from you, too. The way you talked to me, the way you watched me, the way you kissed me. My father left me when I was young, too. I only have a single memory of him, and even that, I wonder if I'm not just piecing together old stories I've heard, filling in the rest with what I've seen in old photographs. I remember him taking a picture of me and my mother. Even though he's not in the picture, it's what I have to remember him by. My camera, his camera, and that photo, all that's left. Everything else is gone. Don't allow yourself to be defined by those who leave. Including me. Evening, Kathy. Sure is getting cold out there. Hey, Georgia, can I get you something? Coffee, maybe? That'd be fine. Better make it strong. Mind if I join you? Guess not. Late night? About to ask you the same thing, Sheriff. You enjoying your stay in Goodland? It's not bad. Thank you, Kathy. You know, it's really fascinating work you do. This town's not used to having an artist like yourself in its midst. I wouldn't call myself an artist. <laughs> Something on your mind, Sheriff? You know, I just got to thinking, and I can't help but wonder if what you're doing is really all that positive for this community. Why would you think that? I'm just not sure. An outsider like yourself can really give a place like this an honest shake. All I can do is try. I guess you're right. Fifteen minutes. That's how long a break I get from my patrol. That's it. Can you believe that? Crime doesn't sleep, not even in good land. Well. It's no Detroit. You wouldn't happen to have the time, would you? Sorry, Dad. You know, the rest of the town hasn't caught on quite yet, but I'm afraid it'll be too late before they do. Caught on to what? 
Just the fact that you plan to portray our little town as backwards. That hasn't been my experience at all, Sheriff. You sure you're not projecting? What do you know about Terrence Valor? The uh, drifter who turned up dead? Yeah, him. Nothing except for what I hear around here. Why, are you implying something? Look at it from my perspective. It's a pretty big coincidence that Valor winds up dead around the exact same time you happen to roll into town, don't you think? No, not at all. Everyone around here is convinced that he was just a drunk that happened to have an unfortunate run-in with some heavy machinery. Probably, because that's what you've been telling me. I'm beginning to think there's more to it than that. Like what? I was hoping you might be the one to enlighten me. Are you accusing me of something, Sheriff? Not yet. Good. In that case, I'll be on my way. Get some sleep, Sheriff. Looks like you need it. So you do know it's the middle of the night, right? I mean, what could possibly... It's okay, Georgette. been through a hell of a lot the past couple of days. I didn't drink it, Mike. Not that I didn't want to. I told myself I'd just have one drink. I thought it'll help me sleep. It'll help me let go of this whole thing. You know what stopped me? Smell it. What? Go on. Smell it. it. Smells like syrup. And when has $12 whiskey ever smelled like syrup? Damn it, Georgette. I don't know. I don't drink this stuff. It doesn't. That's a very unique smell. And I'd know it anywhere. It's antifreeze. What? I think Valor was poisoned. God damn son of a bitch! I'm... Just, just give me a minute. Empire, how can I help you? Politicians. They should be shot, all of them. I'm sorry about that. Good help's hard to come by, apparently. What can I do you for? Just want to let you know I'll be checking out tomorrow. Early. All right. Is that all? I guess so. All right. Yeah. Get to the location. Guy and I will be Wade. I'll be there.
as possible. It may not show up on the tox report. Sheriff? And we need to make sure Reigns doesn't leave town. If he does, we may have to get the state police involved early. Linking him to these phones is still our best bet. Sheriff, phone. Damn it, Francis. Can you not see we're in the middle of something? It's the principal of the school. You're gonna want to take this one. Trust me. Sheriff Gaines. So it's just like I said, there are four cameras in the vault. It's here. The cameras are here, 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 and there. So favor your right and keep your head down. And there's no security really to speak of. Most of the employees are women, but there is a male bank manager, so be on the lookout for a hero type. He might think he's a shepherd protecting his flock. Other than that, it's just like we discussed, but adjusted for Valor's absence. I prioritize the top two banks with the most oil money going through them. We're still hitting all three. What? You're gonna take one. <laughs> that wasn't part of the plan. You know the layout's better than any of us. Look, I'm just here to recover intel and distract the cops long enough for you two to do your thing. I'm no stick-up man. The plan was to hit all three banks at once. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. And what if I say no? If you had your chance to walk, and I warned you, it'd be your last. You're threatening me? I mean, are you kidding? The entire town knows who I am. That's why we wear masks. Delivery. Half a dozen roses. No vase. Ida, what's going on? What are you doing here? I can't go back. I don't know what you're talking about, but you need to leave right now. I have to tell you something. I don't have time for this, Ida. All right, whatever you think is important, it's not. Trust me. I have to get out of here. Open up, Brains. We have a warrant. Oh, shit, Ida, what's going on? I've been trying to tell you. Oh, my God. What is happening? I need you to look at me and tell me what's going on right now. Either open up or we'll open it for you. No, I didn't do anything. I did it. I promise I did it. You have until the count of three, Rain. I know. One, one of the photos of me. What? I, I don't know how it happened. It got into the school and Two. they said that they know that you Two. took it. You I said you did it. Two. I swear, but they won't listen. We're coming in. Stand back. You're under arrest. Distribution, pornographic material of a minor. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do will be used against you in a court of law. We know Valor was poisoned. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. You understand these rights? Sheriff Gaines. Yes? When? I understand. I'll be there as soon as I can. Take him down to the station and start processing him. I have to go. I'll be there when I can. Hey, don't you think you ought to be here for this? It's hell.
So is this how it works for you? Mr. Picture Man? All those photographs of the town? Just a front? So you can manipulate and take advantage of little girls? Is that what you do? Is that how you get your thrills? Mm, that's all gonna change for you real soon. You know what they do to boys like you in prison, don't you? Don't you? You little chicken shit. You can't even look me in the eye, can you? I need you to listen to me very carefully. Hey. What the hell was... Change of plans. We have to move. Now. The vault's closed in 15 minutes. Get changed. Here. You'll have to take the deputy's car. You know where to meet. Gaines is still out there. If you see her, don't hesitate. Ten ninety eight. Ten double zero. Officer down. Multiple gunmen. Reigns got away. We need state backup as soon as possible. We have officers down and multiple gunmen on the loose.
down. I repeat, gunmen down. Delivery was... Hello? We've got a breach of protocol on our hands. One of our field agents. How bad is it? Undetermined. Last confirmed contact was two hours ago from an unapproved line. Is there any reason to believe he's been compromised? I believe so. What were the terms? Deep cover. Any means necessary. Last known location? Goodland, Kansas. Cut ties. Sir? Burnham. the fuck up. Where's the money? Jesus Christ. There's more here than we thought. What the fuck is your problem? A gun was pulled in the bank. That's how it goes. You want to play cowboy, you might get shot. Gaines killed Kilmer. I know. How? The victor's gun speaks last. You know, when I was arrested, Gaines said Valor was poison. Don't. Hands up. Slow. It was you, wasn't it? You killed Valor. Turn around. Why? He became a loose end. Had to be tied up. Simple as that. A loose end? You can't bring heat before a job even starts. And I'm sure a larger cut had nothing to do with it. I got a call from Valor's phone. Sure it had nothing to do with you, though. You can take care of yourself, right? I have a new plan. You're taking me to El Charo. <laughs> Are you out of your fucking mind? We're gonna get in this car, and we're gonna deliver this money to him personally. I couldn't get to El Charo even if I wanted to. But you know someone who could. What's your end goal here?
do I get to Altara? I will tell you. You have no idea who I am. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Hold me close, my brother. I have secrets, deep, dark secrets. Who knew life could be so Right.